Night at the Movies is brought to you by the UMD School of Fine Arts. I'm Edward Moody. Welcome to the Duluth CW and the Duluth Film Collective present Night at the Movies. Tonight, we're going to screen some great indie films from local filmmakers, and here to talk about them with us is Matthew Dressel. Thanks for being here again, Matthew. Thank you for having me. All right, so part of what you all do in the Duluth Film Collective, and this is something that you started, yeah. you do midnight movies. So I think that sounds like a cool idea. Tell everybody what that's about. Yeah, we've been doing Midnight Movies for about a year and a half now, and it's this interactive, fun event where we watch movies that are so bad they're good, uh, cult classics, just films that really get crowds going. And yeah. it's just, I mean, we've been packing houses, and it's just been, it's been amazing. Okay, so next up we're going to look at a film uh, by Keith Hopkins. Mm -hmm. We both know Keith very yeah. well. Yep. Uh, and he sort of incorporates that genre uh, with many of his films, right? Yeah, yeah, it has a little bit of midnight movies to it. Mm -hmm. uh, Keith is working on a feature that is kind of tying all of his shorts together, and one of the shorts is Gravedigger Dave's Halfway House. Okay. And that main character is going to be the kind of the guy that brings this all together, and it's yeah. going to be something pretty crazy. I mean, you start a movie with the title Gravedigger Dave yeah. yep. and Halfway House, you know it's going to be good. All yeah. right, so let's take a look at Keith Hopkins' film, Gravedigger Dave's Halfway House. Oh, hi there. I'm Gravedigger Dave. Digger Dave. Are you starting to worry about what things might be like when you're halfway between here and there? Well, worry no more because we've got you covered at Gravedigger Dave's Halfway House, a post hospice for the undead. We're your one stop shop for all your post life needs. Don't believe me? Check out this semi vaporous free floating apparition. He's happier than a clam here at Gravedigger Dave's Halfway House. Well, hey, what are you doing there? Put that thing away. What are you trying to do? Scare all my customers? Exercise out of your favorite haunts? We've got the place for you to stay until you get back up on your feet to grab on this handsome fella sitting on the side of a road eating on a crow. But look at him now. He's here and we're even best friends. Tell him, Gary. Aw, thanks, bud. You didn't have to say all that. By the way, you got a little something on your chin there. You got a little something. Uh, you know what? Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. You, you, you got heat storage for your demonically possessed objects? We got saves for all that stuff. Turn that dial. Stop worrying about it. It's my problem now, not yours. Goblin need a place to meditate? Demonic kitty torturing the kids? Bring her by. What's that lady doing? I don't know. Don't even matter. It's all good in the hood when you're a guest here at Gravedigger Dave's. Damn it, will somebody take that thing away from me? So come on down to Gravedigger Dave's Halfway House. We're here for you when you're halfway between here and there. Beep, beep. Well, I'm a low life piece of shit because it makes me happy. We'll be right back with more Night at the Movies. <laughs> 